Hello and welcome to the latest Spink Metal podcast. We're going to talk to you today in a change of venue, as you can see, we're in the auction room, about our November sale. And we've been listening to your feedback, so hopefully there will be less of us and more of this. Uh, and there are some names to conjure with uh, throughout a very strongly gallantry-themed auction. Um, Arnhem, Battle of Britain, SAS, Battle of France, um, and in fact, I will start with Arnhem. Uh, this group, which is a military cross for Operation Market Garden to Captain Briggs, later Colonel Briggs, uh, he was one of the first men into Arnhem and into, onto the bridge, and one of the last men to leave. Uh, the small band of paras were under heavy bombardment from tanks, from the air, heavy machine gun fire in self-entrenched positions over the course of a number of days. Um, and the spirit of the defence, I think, is perhaps best summed up in a wireless conversation which uh, was had between Briggs and his CO, Johnny Frost. Um, and if you'll bear with me a second, I will read you uh, exactly what they did say. Captain Briggs started. The position is untenable. Can I have your permission to withdraw? Frost replied. If it is untenable, you may withdraw to your original position. After a moment's thought, Captain Briggs replied, Everything is comfortable. I am now going in with bayonets and grenades. And I think that really does sum it up, that the desperate situation they fought to the end, um, and actually this beret was with him on Arnhem Bridge. Um, so that's that's one thing, and now we're going to go to something some slightly different with a, a family connotation, I think, Ollie. Indeed, yes. This is a Crimea DCM group awarded to Private Thomas Code of the uh, Leicestershire Regiment, 17th Foot, and he was awarded his uh, DCM for at the first attack on the Grand Redan, 18th of June 1855, for going out after the unsuccessful battle and bringing in the body of the dead Captain John Croker of the regiment. Now, Captain Croker was my great-great-great-uncle and uh, part of the, the famous Leicestershire Croker family. It's, uh, it's very nice to have catalogued medals to somebody who has had a connection with a member of my family. Perhaps one for the Pepys collection. Who knows? Right, OK, we're going to fast forward a little bit and we're going to come back to physical items. I don't think you'll be able to see this. Um, but you'll just have to take my word for exactly what it is. Uh, this small item is an escaper's compass and actually belongs with the front cover lot, which was to Clem Clements. Um, he was uh, one of the founding members of the British Airborne. Um, he was also involved in the first British Airborne operation, which was Operation Colossus, as the senior NCO uh, for X Troop 11th SAS Battalion. They were parachuted down into Italy to attack an aqueduct, um, which they succeeded in doing, um, but then had to fight a gallant withdrawal where they were taken prisoner of war. He received an MM for that action. He was then imprisoned at Solmolna prison camp, um, where he was specially employed um, in a clandestine capacity by MI9 and was responsible for the wireless conversations between the NCOs and the officers' camps and back to the war office. Uh, coming back to this, he took his opportunity to escape from the camp and used this very compass, which had been smuggled in as part of a button on a tunic. So he then escaped and MI9 recommended him for the award of the DCM, which he then got. Having returned back to the UK, he was commissioned and then won a very fine military cross uh, in northwest Europe in the forest of Arden. So that is another fantastic group. And, and three gallantry awards uh, for different actions in the Second in World War. In the Second World War. And actually he was wounded four times during the last action uh, that he was involved in. Right, now, something that is very strong throughout the sale, which is flying material. Um, and as you can see in front of us, again, we've got physical items to talk about. Um, which tend to set the, the medals apart. It's always nice for a collector to have something else with the medals that is uh, relevant to the recipient. Um, and this just isn't something else. These are fantastic. Um, Ollie, I will ask you to act as my glamorous assistant, which could be a bit of a problem, um, if you would hold those up for me. Right, what we've got here. 
The metal group is to, uh, his nickname was actually the Pied Piper of Harrogate. Uh, Hamlin was the recipient. Um, he was an ace in a day. Now by that I mean he shot down five enemy aircraft in one day. Actually in this case over three operational sorties. Now he has taken the unusual step of illustrating those victories uh, in his logbook with these fantastic pictures of planes. Um, so you've got a, a Junkers 88 and four Messerschmitt 109s there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, normally with logbooks, uh, they come in various levels of um, illustration. Um, obviously, don't forget, they were essentially a record mm. of the flights and nothing else. He then subsequently decided to take art into his own hands. And uh, as Ollie, I'm sure, can point out, let's see if your recognition of ships is as good as your aircraft. Um, when he was involved in sinking uh, these, these ships, he did this and obviously sketched them out. So that is a fantastic group to a Battle of Britain ace, uh, one of the first to become an ace in a day during the battle. Uh, in fact, I think he went on to claim 10 victories uh, during 1940. And from one graphic logbook to another, although this one is slightly different in its own right. Uh, the recipient, those are his medals there, Spud Spurdle, uh, was a Kiwi. Um, also a bit of a character, it has to be said. Again, remember what I was saying about uh, the official use and perhaps misuse of a logbook. Uh, en route back to New Zealand uh, via America, he decided to take the opportunity um, to enlist the signatures and uh, some interesting sketches of some Hollywood stars that happened to be taking the same transport as him. So, as you can see here, uh, I believe we've got Edward G. Robinson, who's done a little uh, self-portrait there. It's not the most flattering, but it is very accurate, I would admit, and a few others as well. So that's another interesting aside with, with these things. And there are, I won't necessarily talk about them, but they are there. There are some other battles of importance, the Battle of France, we have the Aces, Hurricanes, Spitfires, lots of things that are worth reading about online and in the catalogue. We also have a large collection to the Leicestershire Regiment and one to the Queen's Own Royal West Kent Regiment. The auction is here at Spink on the 20th of November. Being a global auction house, we also have a wine sale that day out in our Hong Kong office, so do make sure you come and bid on the correct auction. The sale starts at 10 o'clock. We look forward to seeing you either here in the room or online via Spink Live. I very much look forward to taking your bids.